Hey everyone, my name is Nika Ella Mokofisi and I was asked to be a part of this Pacifica Community Video Archive. Um, I want to thank the folks at the PI Studies Initiative at the University of Utah for um, putting this all together um, and I want to thank them for allowing me to be a part of this. Um, so thank you. Um, also I want to congratulate and commend all of you Pacific Islander scholars, students who have chosen to um, pursue a higher education, um, who are about to embark on their own higher education journey and experience, um, and congratulate and commend all of those PI students who are currently in college doing the work right now. You're in the midst of it right now. So um, that's a huge decision. It's an important decision and it's probably one of the best decisions that I've made personally in my life. So congratulations on that. I'm here to really just talk a little bit about who I am um, and share a little bit about my own higher education college journey and then offer some advice on, um, offer some advice to you all um, on being a college student. Um, so just a little bit about me. Um, I am the youngest of five children. I grew up in Davis County, Utah. I graduated from Woods Cross High School. Um, and right after high school, I went to the University of Utah and earned a um, Bachelor of Science degree, a BS degree in mass communications um, with an emphasis in public relations or PR. Um, and I think they call it strategic communications now. Um, so that was my undergraduate degree um, and because I was the youngest of five children three of my old eldest siblings by the time I was um, in college three older siblings of mine had already completed finished college and graduated from college so growing up I always knew about college I knew that I was going to college I knew that I was going to finish college um, and I wanted to go to college. I, I always had a um, interest. I knew I, I wanted to go, go to college. I was always really good in school, um, took a lot of AP honors classes, um, and I really just leaned into um, being a good student. I leaned into liking school, um, and it really helped me in my educational journey at the University of Utah. Um, so while, you know, I, I, while I knew about college, I knew I wanted to do college, at the same time, I um, was and I am, I am a first generation college student, um, meaning that neither of my parents hold a bachelor's degree. Um, so I am a, all, me and my siblings were all first generation college students. Um, and I am a proud first generation college student, college graduate. Um, and I actually didn't know what a first generation college student even was. I didn't know what that meant, what that was when I was um, in my undergraduate program, um, which was interesting because I probably uh, passed up a lot of scholarships or programs and services that were directly f for me or that I was directly eligible for, but I didn't take, take advantage of it. Um, because I just didn't know what first generation meant um, because I thought that since my siblings graduated from college that I wasn't a first generation student and that's not what that meant. I figured that out um, um, and that's okay. I found out later that I was and, and that's why now um, I work at Salt Lake Community College. I work in TRIO programs at Salt Lake, Salt Lake Community College and TRIO programs specifically um, supports first generation college students um, in their educational journey. We support fresh, first generation students to to um, um, retain them, keep them in college and um, and help them graduate and finish successfully. Um, so it's okay that I didn't know. And you know, that there there's a piece of advice right there for yourself is to become aware um, and knowledgeable and, and understand, be familiar with um, these different college higher, higher education terms um, so and you'll you'll start learning them um, and so that's one of them is a first generation college student if you are one that's awesome we love you um, um, trio programs we love first generation students um, 
and be proud of that. Be proud that you are the first in your family to pursue higher education. You will be the first in your family to um, graduate and finish with your college degree. Um, my next piece of advice would be to find your network of support. Um, find the people, the person that that supports you through this journey. Um, that find the people that want to see you succeed that want to see you successful, um, that know that this, that knows that this is a real goal of yours to pursue your education and finish, um, find those folks and they can be, um, your friends, your family, um, they can be folks on campus. There are a lot of spaces, um, and, and departments and programs offered on a higher education institution that will offer the, that network of support for you. So, so find that support. They will keep you grounded, um, and they will keep you. Um, they will support you through throughout your time at um, in higher education. Um, finding that network of support also. Um, it helps you with your self-care as well. That's another piece of advice I would give you. Um, take your self-care um, seriously. Um, throughout college, you're gonna, you know, it's college is hard, obviously, it, it's, it's hard. Um, there's gonna be tough days, hard days. You can be mentally and physically exhausted and tired. Um, you will have sleepless nights, you know, finishing papers or pulling all nighters to finish assignments and projects. Um, it's a lot of work, obviously. So make sure that you are also taking care of your taking care of yourself, um, that you're sleeping, that you are um, um, resting when you need to, um, asking for help when and where you need to. Don't be afraid to ask for help. That's another thing. Um, there's a lot of places, a lot of people on campuses that are there to help and support you. Their sole job is to help and support you um, get through college and finish college. Um, because that's me, that's I, you know, what I do in my day-to-day -day work. So there are people on campus, don't feel like you're a burden to anyone um, when you're asking for help. Um, but that's gonna, that's gonna help you out a lot is um, by seeking out um, that support and seeking out that help. Um, and then lastly, my la my final tip of or advice for you um, would be to have a real commitment, a real goal, um, a real confidence in finishing that degree, in completing and finishing your bachelor's degree. Um, so being confident and knowing that you will finish, that you are gonna finish, that you will graduate. Um, so pick a major, pick a program of study, pick pick one, just pick one, and do it, finish it. I, and obviously that's way easier said than done, but I want you all to really have it in your mind and have a goal in mind that you will finish your college degree, that you're gonna get that college degree. Um, have that as as a actual um, visionary goal for yourself um, that you're gonna complete it um, yeah and so that's my um, those are my tips of advice um, again I, I work in trio programs at Salt Lake Community College trio programs is a federal program so there is probably a trio program in almost every higher education institution um, so if you are at the University of Utah or Salt Lake Community College, both institutions have a TRIO programs office or department, and there are people there that care about you, that support you, and want to see you succeed, be successful, and finish that college degree. Um, um, yeah, so um, that's me. Um, I hope you um, have a good summer. I hope everyone is staying um, safe and healthy. Um, and I'm excited for everyone. Um, I'm excited to see what everyone's going to do. Um, this is your time right now in higher education, in college, to explore, um, learn new things, and take advantage of all the opportunities because there's so much. There's so many opportunities 
that you get as a college student. So take advantage of that. Thanks.